was that? I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure that was a Bigfoot. Let me tell you a story. Now this story was given to me by a man named Pete. He was a truck driver for a logging company near the Redwoods in Northern California. Late one summer after some strange happenings at the location, something made his presence known and wasn't happy at all. Let's hear his story. I'd been driving this logging truck all summer long. I wasn't too happy about the job being done on the trees, but the pay was good and I wasn't going to pass it up. Well, somebody had to do it. Well, during the first couple of months, everything was quiet on the slope we were working on. It wasn't until a few weeks before fall that everything on site kind of changed. Now, the first thing that happened was on a Thursday night. They had just moved the equipment over to the ridge on the other side when someone said they kept smelling something really awful on the wind. The guys had searched and searched, and they couldn't find the source whatsoever. It seemed it would move from location to location and always ended up wind from them. Well, we had found footprints at the site the next morning on Friday. That being payday and all, no one really paid much attention to it, and they even started making jokes that someone needed to knock it off. I took out my last load that night, and I had the next two days off. A Monday morning showed up at the yard and picked up the trailer, and everything was a flutter there. I got me all hooked up ASAP, and they pushed me out of the yard in a hurry to get to the site with haste. I turned the CB to the company channel, and the closer I got to the site, the more chatter I picked up. Huge footprints all over the site. A giant mess. Trees pushed off the piles, and equipment turned over all near the tree lines of the site. Once I got to the road, there was a line of trucks already there waiting to get their load, as the mess was so large they couldn't get the rigs turned around, and they were cutting out a new roundabout. So I got down out of my rig, and I started to walk up to the site. It was pure chaos. Radios and phones going off. Someone talking about terrorists wearing hair ghillie suits with no guns just wrecking the place last night. Uh, being a long-time hunter, I had an idea of what had done all this damage, and, well, the large footprints kind of gave it a clue. I cut off the logging road towards the last ridge they moved in on, and sure enough, there was a trail of debris from the site leading off in that direction. I called a supervisor over, and we followed the trash and the tracks for about a mile into the dense forest before Joe, both of it just seemed to end. We checked everywhere for the tracks, but none were to be found. Did it disappear into thin air? Get picked up by a UFO? No, the substrate just changed, and it turned to scattered round rock, and there was nothing to follow after that. Now, we decided to head back to the site, and no more did we turn our back than a loud crack ran out about 40 yards from where we stood, followed by a disturbing... <laughs> well, Supervisor John and I kind of lost our fearless demeanor and ran quickly back to the site. We explained to the others what we had just seen and heard to disbelieve. What, you think a Bigfoot did all this damage? Get real. Yeah, it was from the big burly man in charge, so I just retreated back to my rig with the feeling that we were kind of still being watched. Did I see a Bigfoot that day? No, I don't think so. But I bet I heard one, that's for sure. The entire site was sworn to secrecy. No one wanted to hear the word Bigfoot muttered anywhere around that place. But I wasn't the only one, and from a little digging later on, this wasn't the first nor the last time it happened. I haven't been logging in a few years now. I kind of wonder what that site is like. Well, this logger saw the evidence firsthand of what happens when you trespass and Bigfoot isn't happy about it. Be careful where you trudge in the woods, and remember, Sasquatch is out there. Thanks for listening. I'm Reverend Jeff, and may the Squatch be with you.